Hi everyone, welcome back to the Runaway Teen Challenge. This is part nine and I have made a little bit of a change. So I got rid of the main like front bit of this house because I realized that if we did that, we'd have more money to spend and we could also get appliances and make a kitchen, which is so exciting because now we have a bedroom, we have a bathroom and we have a kitchen, which I think is in the rules as all you need for this challenge. And that basically means that uh, she's a young adult now, so she can get a job. She can get a full-time job because she has all of those things. She has all three rooms, um, she has appliances, and she can get a job, which is awesome. But we're not going to get an actual job in this part. Why is she so sad? Oh, because I forgot her birthday. Oh, stop being so mopey. Take a shower, actually, what I want you to do is take a steamy shower. So yeah, I just got rid of, like, this part of the house. I will add it back on, like, when we get money and stuff. Um, but she's actually not going to get a job in this part. In this part, I want her to actually travel to the boy's house so that we can age up Zach and we can get him to finally move in with us, which is what I know a lot of you have been waiting for. Um, they will start popping out babies, probably, and you know what? We're going to do this, guys. We're going to become rich. We're going to live in a gorgeous house. It's going to be so cool, and I am going to be so good at this. We are, we're, we're on the road. We're on the road to being a millionaire. Maybe not a millionaire, actually definitely not a millionaire because that's just not going to happen. We all know that. But you know, she's making her way up in the world. Um, I think I'm actually going to sell some of these frogs as well. I'm going to keep the more rare ones um, because that means we can like breed them. I'm going to sell some of the ones that are pretty common and don't really cost a lot. Um, you're common, you can go. You're common, you can go. I don't deal with common beings in this let's play. <laughs> We're going to weed our plants because she needs to do some of that. And then we will head on over to the boy's house. We also have another cow pump plant berry and I asked you guys whether you wanted me to plant this or not and a ton of you said that you wanted me to plant it because you wanted Milky Way to have a friend and Coulter said please plant the second cow plant and name it Galaxy and I thought that was adorable so we have Milky Way and Galaxy so we are going to put Galaxy right here Hopefully, we're not going to eat it. We're going to plant it. We're not going to eat a cow plant that I cannot see that working out well for us. And also, Zahira, I think that's how you say your name. I apologise if I just butchered it. But you said if a cow plant has a leaf type hat on their head, it's a girl. Which, basically, I think you mean this bit. So it's like a little fringe. So yeah, Milky Way is a girl. So I'm hoping Galaxy might be a boy. Um, but even if it's not, then it's fine like we don't we don't mind about that um she's just gonna do that you should also uh weed this one because that one has actual weeds and i think we can evolve all of these plants so we're gonna just evolve them real quick uh we can't evolve that one we're just gonna evolve them which means i think that means it makes it like better or more special who is at our door who are you who are you <gasps> Olivia's a teenager! Guys, our best friend Olivia! She's a runaway teen! Oh, hey, we're gonna invite her in, even though we're gonna be leaving any second. We're still gonna invite her in. And, uh, that cow plant's fine. We'll water it. Dude, don't weed all of them. I didn't tell you to do that. I just said weed one. Then you can involve the other strawberries. Then we're going to talk to Olivia and then go see Zach. we got a busy day ahead of us and it's almost 5pm, which is not good. Um, don't go inside. Go water that and then we can head off to see Jack. As Jack? I meant Zach. Oops. <laughs> That's not very good. Moving in with a boy and I'm still getting his name wrong. I swear I'll get it right from now on. I probably won't. That's a lie. We all know that's a lie. <laughs> we are going to go and hit M to travel. And let's 
travel over to the boys' house. I don't think I'm going to age anyone else up because there's not really much point because Zach's the only one we really need. So yeah, I think I'm just going to age him up and the only one we really need. I sound so shallow right now. <laughs> but it's true. He is the only one we need to age up to move in with us because he's the only one that we're going to be in a relationship with, right? That's not shallow. That's like the opposite. Okay, so we're going to go... She's feeling so flirty. Hopefully this will go well. Um, can we go, like, knock on their door or something? Let's go knock on their door. Do not browse the web. You are not allowed. Why is this the setter's front door? It's so annoying. Is that Zach? Zach, Zach, Zach. No, don't run away from us, mister. We want to talk to you. We are going to compliment his outfit, even though, boy, are you trying to be Eminem or something? We need to um, change up his clothes a little bit. I don't think I added that many outfits for him. Is he still a teenager? Yes. Okay. That means that I'm going to have to cheat because we aren't allowed to bake a cake, unfortunately. So I have to cheat to age him up. So we are going to do testing cheats on. I spelled testing wrong. Sounded gangster. Test and cheat, yo. Um, and then we are going to go for uh, cas dot full edit mode. I think this is the right cheat. I think. Please be right. Yes, it is. We are going to modify in create sim, and we are going to turn him into an adult. Um, I think I'll do this off screen because I'm gonna add a couple of outfits. Maybe change up his outfits a little bit. So I'll do this off screen and I'll be back with you guys in a second. So there we go, guys. I just changed changed Zach up a bit. I uh, He is currently wearing swimwear because I forgot to put him back into his everyday wear. But he is now a young adult, same as Hannah, which means that we can start trying to get a little bit flirty with him, I guess. So we are going to um, flirt a little bit. She is feeling flirty, so hopefully this should work. Hopefully he likes it. He seems to be. Um, we are also going to give him a little pickup line. Hopefully, hopefully he'll accept it. We'll ask him if he's single. Yes, he is. I thought he looked like horrified at first, but he seems to be enjoying it. He likes the attention. We're going to give him a little sexy pose. This is one of my favorite interactions in The Sims 4. I absolutely love the sexy pose. Oh, hey, egghead. No. <laughs> in what she's wearing as well it just doesn't seem right but it's hilarious and um, we're gonna flirt with him again let's just get up their romantic interactions so that they can get a little bit friendly with each other okay uh ask a risque question and what else we'll offer him a rose maybe don't know if he'll accept it um we'll conf no don't confess attraction we should ask a risque question don't offer him a rose again you already did that and he'll get bored we're gonna flirt again whisper seductively they're gonna have such cute little blonde babies and then we need to have our first kiss which is gonna be so cute out on the street you know just in the middle of the street as you do so romantic <laughs> this is such a romantic first date but we can't really afford to do anything else um we're not going to ask him to be our boyfriend. Should we? No. I say first kiss before asking him to be a boyfriend. Because, you know, like, first kiss is kind of still like, okay, just testing the waters. Asking to be boyfriend is, like, all out. We're getting out there. Okay, we're going to we're gonna try have our first kiss with him. This is happening all so quickly. Hannah grew up in the last part, and now she's growing up into a lady. So here she goes. Yeah. First kiss. Oh, he really enjoyed it by the looks of it. Right. Um, we also need to get a little bit more friendly with him. We're going to discuss our interests and compliment his outfit, even though he's wearing it in the middle of the street and not actually fishing. Um, we'll brighten his day a little bit, although I'm fairly sure we already did that with a kiss. Um, we're also going to hug him. 
and just do some friendly interactions too. Try and get them to know each other a little bit better. Uh, get to know him and then try and continue your romance. We are going to embrace him. He's ambitious, which is always good. Is he walking away from us? I want to ask him if we'll move in. Can we like ask him to be our boyfriend? Um, or do we already do that? No, I think they're just sweethearts, right? I think they're just sweethearts. They're lovebirds, actually, not even sweethearts. He's currently going all out playing a game. Right, you. Why don't you look as bulky as you did in Create a Sim? Oh, he didn't like that, apparently. What? We're going to compliment his appearance. Why did their relationship just go down? Is he not in a romancy mood? I'm going to try and flirt with him again. There we go. I don't get why he, like, turned us down at first. Um... Let's try and embrace him and flirt with him again. She's getting hungry, so we actually need to go home and cook something because it is like 9 p.m., which I didn't realize. Um, can we just ask you to be our boyfriend, like seriously? Can we please just do it? Like, you've kissed us loads. Let's just make it a fish. Ask to be boyfriend. Did I really just say a fish? I swear, some things... He said yes. Okay. Oh. Well, that happened very quickly, but they are now boyfriend and girlfriend. But we're actually going to send her back home. We're not going to move in him in right now. Maybe we'll move him in tomorrow. Oh. They're so cute. We'll probably move him in tomorrow because we need to get like a double bed and stuff, don't we? Yes, we do. Um, so we're going to do that, but we're going to head home, I think. And uh, make something to eat because she is still super hungry. We'll travel alone. I also need to take 20 smolians off for travel. I always have to remind myself because I never get it right. Um, so I'm reminding myself to take 20 smolians off. I'm etching it into my brain. And we actually have a stove to cook on now. We can cook an actual meal. Um, we are going... We'll probably serve something. So let's serve. Actually, no. Just cook. We will cook. Um, What should we have for dinner? We'll just go for mac and cheese. We'll just go for a family serving. And uh, yeah, mac and cheese. Here we come. Is this cow plant hungry yet? No, it's not. That's good. Boom. Mac and cheese. This is like the first proper meal she's had. Which means that we can now also sell our campfire, which is 360 simoleons back. ka -chow. I'll take that. I'll take all the money we can get. So, um, we can probably... What should we do with this money? Um, her energy is still not bad. So, I think we will go... Uh, let's examine the water and fish for a little bit. Get our money up a little bit, even though we don't get that many fish around here. It just they just tend not to be great fish. Um, let's just go fishing without bait, because apparently she can't see anything. So we'll just fish blind, I guess, without trying to tempt the fishies too much. She actually really needs to sleep though. She found a kitchen upgrade part. How much does that sell for? Ninety simoleons, kaching. I'll take it. <laughs> Whoa. Salmon worth 251 simoleons. Sell that bad boy. 1,000 simoleons in our pocket. Oh, and then it goes back down to a 9 simoleon fish. What the hell? How can this river have stuff that's worth like 200? And then, oh, we need to feed Milky Way. Feed Milky Way before you go to sleep. Um, Go feed her. And then head to sleep. And then I think once Hannah wakes up, we will invite Mr. Uh, we can't really invite him over, can we? Or can we now use our mobile now that we have all these rooms? Is that a thing? I should still have the rules up because I really don't know. And I didn't take 20 simoleons off. Of course I didn't. I said I was etching it into my memory and I clearly didn't. Testing cheats on and money... 1,000, oh, it would be, what, 900, 9, 4, I think. 
Yes, I got it right. I'm so bad at maths that that's actually a miracle that I got that calculation correct. She's just talking to herself and sniffing herself, which is gross. After you've peed, you can go back to sleep for a little... No, don't nap. Sleep, woman. We need to buy a double bed. That is what we do need. Oh, look who's here. That's great. Now we don't have to ring him. We're going to invite him in. Hannah, get out of bed, you little lazy poo. So she is up and awake and inviting Zachary inside. And can we ask him to move in? Yes, we can. Here we go. He's going to bring some money with him, hopefully. Fingers crossed. But yeah. Click OK to go to household split and merge. Cool. Zach is moving in, which is awesome. That is so good. In this part, it just feels like things are happening. It's getting exciting. And I'm fairly sure we should get a job in the next part. But I don't know what job to go for. I definitely think I want Zach to get in the athletic career because I've not shown that off in any of my Sims 4 Let's Plays yet. And it was a new career that was added. When was it even added now? November or December? Um, so yeah. Oh, he actually didn't bring in any money. Zach, you are worthless. What the hell? Like, why didn't he bring any money? We have 165 Somalian bills to pay before they shut off our electricity. But we don't have that many lights, so really, that's not a major problem. Um, we are going to eat some leftover mac and cheese from what we made last night. Zach's doing great, so he can actually come out here and uh, harvest all these plants so we can sell them all off for some extra simoleons and we do also need to buy a double bed uh all these my sims are probably going to be in the way <laughs> uh, let's get a bed we can splash out on quite a nice bed we have 1400 simoleons wait what did the 400 come from i'm confused did he actually bring money I really don't know where that came from. I kind of want to splash, maybe just this one. Maybe we'll just go for this bed. Um, no, you're a boring colour. Nope, don't like you. I don't like these beds. That one's quite nice, I guess. I guess. Um, uh, man, these are all gross. Maybe, we, no, that's only energy five. There's no point wasting money on that. Uh, we'll just go for... See, this one's comfier, but... It doesn't look nice. I prefer the colours swatch on this one. So I think we'll go for this one instead. And we will just get this. Um, that can go there. So we now have a new bedroom. Maybe we should start adding some uh, walls and colours to this house. Because it's looking rather plain currently. It's uh, not looking great. So I think I, I really want to use like this colour. But then the kitchen's like mint green. But then that looks quite nice. And then I'm going to renovate the house. Like when we do have more money and stuff like that. I'll definitely make the house a lot better than it currently will be. Let's also go for a blue in the bathroom. Actually that's red isn't it? That looks like an orangey colour to me but oh well. And what colour should we go for in the bedroom? Maybe like, I kind of want to go for a bright colour. Uh, what do you look like? You're too pink. feel like that's a little bit too curly for Zach. Um, what colours do we have over here? Maybe like a blue? I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of blue in this house currently. Um, what this really bright orange. And then let me put the walls up a second. Sorry that you guys have to sit through this. Uh, <laughs> I bet you're just like, please just speed it up. Um, do, do, do. Is that just like a white? We'll just go for that white on here. And like that. And then I think on all of these walls, we'll just put white. Yeah, like I said, I will definitely be changing this up. Uh, this is not the final house for sure. This is not what it is going to look like. Let me just tell you that. 
we are definitely going to switch things up a little bit but for now it just adds a little bit more colour and we also need a light in the bathroom so I'm just going to put this one in, drop it in there and hey presto we have a house, if you can call it a house. It still kind of looks a little bit like a shack but it's our shack and it's now filled with Hannah and Zach and they're going to fill it with love and with babies. <laughs> straight away just putting it out there in the next part we're probably gonna try for a child not even gonna try and lie to you guys um it's probably gonna happen so that's always gonna be cute and he's just gonna go do all of that he's never gardened in his life so this is all a new experience for him he lived in a really nice house um I didn't really have a backstory for Zach at all. He just lived with a group of friends and a random adult because they had to live with an adult. Uh, <laughs> so it's kind of like, I don't know, a boy's orphanage, I guess. Uh, and now he's met his match with Hannah, even though she's over here currently talking to herself. She's telling a story to herself. Please stop before your new boyfriend walks in like, what the hell? He's like, um, I regret my decision. <laughs> I already regret my decision. I've just seen my girlfriend absolutely going crazy and talking to herself. <laughs> Bless him. We need to work on her fun. I think we'll go play with Milky Way. Play with her a couple of times. Zach, can you... Oh, she doesn't actually need watering. All our plants are doing great. Um, Zach, why don't you come and we'll harvest this. And is there anything we can collect around here? Nope. Right, we'll send Zach basically out on a scavenger hunt. Harvest all of the harvestables around. Harvest that. And he loves the outdoors too, which is really good. So they definitely have that in common. We're going to dig all of these things and look for some frogs again. And then we can harvest this and then let's head on over to the road wow there's a lot of stuff we haven't collected there's a lot okay hannah can you also breed with a whirly flower oh we got another whirly flower that's awesome they're worth like 160 simoleons so we're gonna sell that right away so we do have some money spare so um i guess we'll just continue building up our money and just try and keep expanding to the house. Who is that girl? Who is she? She looks really pretty. She does not look like a Sims 4 made Sim. Oh, okay. She has blue eyebrows. Yes, she does. She looks like a Sims 4 made Sim. A random generated townie. <laughs> with uh, blonde hair and bright blue eyebrows. Eyebrows on fleek. You know your eyebrows are on fleek when they're blue. Um, don't say goodbye to her. Come over here and dig all of these too. And then his queue is full. What have you found? We're going to sell all our onions. And we can actually send all these to the Geo Council. Siren, shut up. I feel mean. It was an ambulance and I just told it to shut up. I feel bad. <laughs> We're going to sell this sage and all our carrots and strawberries and you because we don't need you anymore um, so he's just gonna go around and hunt for some things he also found a treasure map okay don't do that dig this dig this and then dig this one for treasure what's Hannah currently up to she just had a pee I guess you can come over here and fish for a little bit and yeah what I was gonna say is I don't know what career to get Hannah into I'm really not sure. Like, should I show you guys quickly what jobs we can have? Um, where is jobs? Find a job. So she's just going to look just so I can show you guys. And then I'll let you guys choose because I really have no clue what Hannah would like to do. Um, I kind of don't want to do one that I've already covered in my Sims 4 Let's Play because, you know, it's just the same. So we could go for a secret agent, but I don't think Hannah would be very good at that. She's kind of insane. She could be a painter. She could be in the business career, which would be quite cool. 
culinary it's been done so many times before entertainer too writer's been done a lot before tech guru i did in my sims 4 let's play um so yeah i think maybe business business or secret agent imagine hannah being a secret agent that would be so cool Okay, we're going to click out of that though, but I'm going to let you guys decide on that one. So, your task for this video is to leave what job you think Hannah should have, and we'll get her into it in the next part. Zach will join the athletic career because we do now have a house. We can interact with other adults. We can start getting jobs, start getting paid, all that good stuff, which is awesome. But I think I'm going to end this part here, guys. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this part. I am still loving this challenge, as you guys know. As I just said, do leave your comments and suggestions on jobs that you maybe want Hannah to, like, see Hannah in those jobs. I have no idea what I was trying to say. Basically, just leave your thoughts on jobs for Hannah because I definitely want him going into the athletic because he is athletic and it's also one that I haven't shown off which is always good in a let's play to play with something new so thank you all so much for watching if you like this part please leave it a big thumbs up as I know that you guys enjoy it it'll tell me how much you enjoyed it and stuff and how often you want to see this challenge thank you so much for watching I love you all and I will speak to you all in my next video bye guys